Uncle Morty used to send me to the movies. He's a little kid. Did you up and go? And though I was only seven, I discovered heaven at the arcade. As tall as the Great Wall of China, red rocks, cold stairs, porcelain angels, and everything bigger and better and larger than life. You see, at first I was strictly a Western man. But then, one afternoon, I went to the movies. 1941 Technicolor Defender of the Crown, starring Alan Swan. <laughs> Daring, loyal, kind but courageous. A hero as big as a Buick, with a tape, a sword, and a bevy of maidens. He wants movies. Me, I was seven. And she, he was bigger. And better and larger than life. See, life wasn't capes and flashing swords and parapets. Life wasn't Alan Swan or Robin Hood. Life was your father going out for cigarettes and deciding he was going out for good. Cheer up and go. Swan is playing at the RKO. Oh God! Ha ha ha! Da -da 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 -da. No, sure, sure, it was possible. It was possible. If uh, if he met my mom back in 1934, maybe had a fling with her at the Chateau Marmont in his cabana. Well, then there's every possible reason to believe that the man who walked out for the Chesterfields that night. See, I wasn't just some dumb kid whose father got tired of him and walked out. I was the bastard son of Alan Swan. Daring, loyal, kind but courageous. A hero as big as I needed in the technicolor embrace of a maiden. For me.